The coast of the Carolinas can testify that Helene, she's no lady. Winds up to 135 miles an hour. 25-foot waves and sheets of rain make this a bigger hurricane than mighty hazel of four years ago. In South Carolina, principal damage at beaches north of Myrtle Beach is to fishing piers and cottages close by the ocean. North Carolina gets the fiercest blows. Beginning in the state's southeastern corner to Cape Hatteras, the beaches and coastal lowlands take an awful beating. The beautiful old port city of Wilmington suffers a million dollars in damage. Although, mercifully, the hurricane comes in on a low tide, undoubtedly averting even greater damage. With coordinated effort, the helping hand to the stricken and protection of beach areas includes local, state, and federal operations. Functioning at all levels, such a combined operation is truly civil defense. As residents are accounted for, happily no loss of life is immediately reported. With the evacuations completed and Helene on her way, good riddance say the Carolinas, the damage is surveyed. And while they're trying to get back to normal here, Helene is reported northward, giving Canada's Atlantic coast a lashing with violent fringe winds and torrential rains. <laughs>